Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. If you have clicked this video, then you fall in one of these three categories. You are someone who has never coded in your life. Or you are someone who has done some bit of coding in past but not coding recently. Or you may be someone who is coding in his or her job but using a different programming language. If you fall in any of these categories, I have a complete roadmap for you to learn Python from scratch to a level where you can comfortably call yourself a Python developer and you can comfortably claim that you will be able to execute any given Python project. Well, if you are following me for some time guys, you don't see me carrying a notebook in my hand. But today, the topic is so vast, I do not want to miss anything of my research that I have done. I am going to tell you the complete roadmap. Towards the end, I am going to tell you what are the places where you can go and learn those things free of cost. And I am also going to tell you how much time is it going to take for you to learn all the topics that I'll be mentioning now. I have also some more surprises for you towards the end. Just ensure you watch this video. This may be a little long guys, but it will be worth it. Okay, let's start. So guys, first of all, I want to divide the entire roadmap in few milestones. Okay, so milestone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. End of milestone 5. You reach that stage where you can comfortably call yourself a python guy. In addition to these 5 milestones, I will add one more milestone, milestone 0 for the people falling in the category of never coded. Okay. Now without further wasting any time, let's start what are these milestones. What is milestone 0 guys? Suppose someone who has never done coding in his or her life. There may be few things which is like Greek and Latin for them. For example, if you say .py file, they might not be able to understand. If you say interpretation and compilation, they might not be able to understand. If you say IDE, integrated development environment, they might not be able to understand. Hence, milestone zero. There are few things people should pay attention to, especially people who are never coded in their life. You have to first of all learn what is a programming language, what is a compilation, what is the interpretation, what is .py file, what is .txt file, what is a software development environment, what is an integrated development environment. What is front end? What is back end? What is an application? What is an API? Don't worry, guys, no need to note all these topics. I am going to give you an Excel with all these topics listed. Okay, no need to note. Just listen to me carefully. Once milestone zero is completed, now all three categories people should focus on milestone one. What is milestone one, guys? Let me ask you, if you want to learn any programming language, right? What are the few things you, you want to learn first? The very first prerequisite is you need a platform to learn, right? So first thing I want you to cover is Anaconda installation, Jupyter installation, or whatever ID of your choice, if you have a choice in Python, okay? Then comes learning about basic data types in Python, which can be an integer, a string, a uh, float, what is a type casting, then comes basic control structure in Python, which means how to write f else, how to write nested if else, how to write basic loops, how to write a do while loop, how to write a while loop, all these kind of things, okay? And then comes how to work with basic Python functionalities. For example, if I tell you slicing an index, or concatenation of two, two strings, slicing and string, concatenation of two strings. How do you do that? 
if I tell you to print something, how do you do that? What is some of the basic arithmetic operations in Python? All these things we have to get your hands dirty with. Basic mathematical computation, print statement, concatenation, slicing, indexing, integer, flow, typecasting, all these things. Once you finish all these things guys, then you have completed milestone 1. Okay? Now comes the most important milestone, milestone 2. What are the topics in milestone 2 guys? In milestone 2, I want you to learn about Python functions. Okay? Then I want you to learn about Python basic packages. What I mean by basic packages guys? I am not talking about pandas, numpy, all these things. I am talking about packages like OS, packages like sys, date time, these kind of packages. I want you to understand what is a folder structure in Python. How I can work with file in Python without using pandas guys. How to read a CSV or a simple text file. If I want to write an output to a file, how do I write? Those kind of stuff. Okay. In this milestone only, I want you to get your hands dirty with little more loops. For example, for loops, for example, complex, little complex loop logics, loops plus conditional statement, those kind of stuff, right? In this module itself, in this milestone itself, I want you to learn about what are Python lists, Python sets, Python dictionaries, Python tuples, and how to work with this. Now, every time I'm saying I want you to learn, I will tell you a simple example of what I mean by that. If I say you, you have to learn list, right? What is a list in Python? What are different, you know, varieties in which I can create a list? And what are different methods supported on the list? There can be hundreds of functions that you call on a list. For example, append, extend, many things. No need to remember everything, guys. You know, basic, this is a list. This is how list is created. These are the functions that can be called on top of list. That's all. No need to spend lot and lot of time on that. So all these list tuple sets, dictionaries, those things. After that, I want you to get your hands dirty with lambda functions in Python. I want you to get your hands dirty with command line arguments in Python and how to run a .py file from command line. For example, suppose there is a .py file, print name.py, okay? How to run that from the command line, whether it is Unix or Windows? How to pass an argument to this file? For example, if this says, my name is Aman, and I want to pass the argument name as dynamic from the command line, so that it should print, my name is John, my name is Doe, my name is Mank, anything, right? How to do that? Once you finish all these topics, guys, then you reach milestone 2 okay now comes milestone 3 what are the things that you need to do in milestone 3 milestone 3 i have totally put on object oriented python simply what are classes what are objects what are methods what is a constructor what are inheritance polymorphism encapsulation no need to go in lot and lot of details of everything guys these topics and then you do some hands-on on these topics that's all nothing more than that no need to do many complex you know assignments on these as of now once this module is finished then you go to the next module i'm going to tell you where to learn these things okay don't worry i'm going to give you right link for learning in module 4 what you have to learn is specific to your interest your role and your target now at unfold data science my assumption is many of my viewers are inclined towards data analysis and data science hence the important modules for you you already know some of these you should know what is numpy what is pandas what is matplotlib what is seaborn what is scipy what is sklearn what is tensorflow what is Keras, what is PyTorch, what is NVIDIA CUDA, all these libraries that you feel is important. I am definitely going to give you the list in Excel. You should learn. One important thing here, when I say you should learn, what I mean by that? For example, I say you should learn Pandas. 
in pandas there are hundreds of functionalities guys no need to learn everything what pandas does some of the functionalities on panda take one test data and use some of the panda functionalities then move on to the next module google is always there to help you when you work on the project just that you should know what is used for what okay that is your milestone 4 hitting now we will combine the knowledge of milestone 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and we will try to do some projects in milestone 5 what kind of projects guys my suggestion is you should do two small projects of two different flavors okay and one master project of your interest area let me give you one example two di two different projects of two uh, different flavors i told right one of these projects can be a web based project that can use flask django those kind of packages okay and that can be you know able to give you idea of what is front end what is back end what is an api how to pass variables from front end to back end how to return the result to the front end those kind of knowledge this web based project will give you one small one you can do and one stand alone application you can build it can be a very simple game it can be a very simple helping a friend in some automation for example you are working in a company some of your colleague is doing some task which could be automated maybe you can make a python utility for them these two are your two different minor projects in two different flavors okay and one major project in the area you want to build your career on so let's say if that is data science in data science you do a machine learning project in kaggle and then try to deploy it on a server try to deploy it on cloud and everything right from you know data gathering to deployment you do using python if you do these three projects right i can assure you you will be so confident in python guys you will be able to ready to take anything next okay once you finish up to milestone 5 i know there are many people who want to learn more and who want to grow more in python so there is no limit of growth right we can keep learning and we can keep improving our skills after milestone 4 you are at a position where you can do python projects comfortably but to become an expert python programmer right there are more to it so there are some topics which you can pay attention to for example how to do exception handling in a efficient way basic exception handling should come in one of our milestone i will put that in excel okay how to do that advanced level exception handling how to do that advanced level debugging how to write efficient codes how to write smart codes for example uh, i gave in my decorator uh, generator video one example right where i was able to do the same task using a function and a decorator but obviously decorator is a smarter way of doing the same task so these things will come once you write lot and lot codes how to improve the performance some of you who is you know able to contribute to open source community that is another great platform to learn more things all these things come once you finish milestone 5 but i want you to target till milestone 5 if you are starting from scratch then you can go on to these things that i discussed now okay now comes the interesting part guys where to learn all these things i spoke about many topics right where to learn all these things i am going to create an excel sheet and i am going to give you the all the list of the topics milestone wise milestone 1 these topics milestone 2 these topics milestone 3 these topics i am going to give you link of the youtube video either on my channel or on someone else's channel or a good blog if i find it so that you have the excel ready you have the link ready you have the milestones ready and you have a road map ready then you just have to devote 1 to 2 hours in a day and roughly i am not saying it is same for everyone roughly 2 to 2 two and half months maximum 3 months of time right you will be in a very very comfortable position guys you come back to this video and tell me in the comment how was this road map okay you will definitely i am sure if you follow this 
you will definitely come and say in the video how was the roadmap i'm going to give you that excel i'll keep that in my google drive give the link in the description i'm going to give you all the links i have given you roadmap now it's your job don't take it very very you know uh you have to do it in some some time limit only as i was talking in my last video right it's not about time limit it about your habit if you spend one to two hours daily it is doable and it is doable very very comfortably all this roadmap all the topics all the contents all the link that i spoke about guys everything is free of cost the links i will paste will be free of cost you can go ahead do the exploration and take this roadmap to your python journey i wish you all the best to learn python and become an expert python programmer and know many things which me or any other python programmer does not know there are many topics which are there in my python playlist guys i may give link of those topics or i may give link of some other places as well so just look at that excel start your journey let me know how did you like this video guys i will see you all in the next video till then wherever you are stay safe